I know you feel the same way I do as we've watched the events in Ukraine unfold over the last 10 days. And, um, you know, just uh, grief and shock and, um, you know, if you can't, if, if you can't observe what's going on and not conclude that it is an all-out expression of terror and evil and wickedness, that you've lost your moral bearing, you know. And, and if your heart isn't grieved for the people in Ukraine, um, then, you know, you probably need a fresh work of the Holy Spirit in your life. And, you know, I watch these things and I, I think I probably respond the same way you do. You know, I want to do something about it. And you think, what in the world, what in the world can we do? And we're the church. We're the church of the living God. And look, and if, and if there's anyone, if there's anyone who really can do something about it, it, it is us. And so... I want to let you know that we are, we're mobilizing, and um, I want to share with you the different ways that you can be involved. Uh, you can go to our, uh, our website at cclasvegas.org forward slash Ukraine. We have a landing page there that really lays out some of the steps that we are taking. And so, uh, obviously, if you get the weekly email, you know what we're, we're praying for is a spiritual awakening in Russia, in Ukraine, and um, obviously throughout Europe. Uh, Europe is post-Christian, so we are on our way to post-Christian. We're really, really close here in this country, um, but they are a number of steps ahead of us. And so uh, the first thing for sure that we can, we can do is we can pray. Um, I, think, I think Las Vegas, I looked this up, and I've might not get the number right because it's been seven days and a lot's happened in seven days. But um, I think that Las Vegas is 6,083 miles away from Kiev. And, you know, we may be 6,083 miles away from Kiev, but the Holy Spirit is present there. And so we're going to pray. We're going to pray. And the most meaningful thing that we can do is pray. And, you know, I know for, for some of you, you, you're watching these events and, and it's like, well, hey, that's not just over there. It feels like it's coming over here as well. Um, and God is on the throne. God knows exactly what he's doing. And so we don't have a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. So you can join us right here in the worship. Actually, it's in the follow-up room from 5 to 6 p.m. on Thursday nights right before... Um, our weekly gathering. You can join us in the follow-up room. Um, our prayer for sure is that there would be more people in that room than can fit, and so we'll have to move somewhere else. Uh, but join us as we pray and seek the Lord and ask him to do all that he is able to do, right? And there's, there's a long list there. Um, of course, you don't have to be present with us. You can just pray yourself wherever you're at, but it's, it's good when the people of God gather together. Uh, we also are planning Hope Medical missions trips over there. And when I say over there, I, I, will, I will just say no one is getting into Ukraine right now. Um, I have friends who uh, were on the ground in country um, and, and they just got out. You can't even get out of Ukraine right now. So, I mean, it is a total catastrophe. It is absolute chaos. Um, and most likely what we'll be doing with our Hope Medical trips is we may end up in a place like Poland, a, a neighboring country, Poland, Hungary, Moldova, uh, Romania, you know, one of those countries we may end up uh, doing medical missions trips to refugees. And so I think at this point there are 1.2 million refugees that have fled out of Ukraine and into one of those neighboring countries uh, so if you are former military, um, you've served in the police, if you're a medical professional, um, if you fit within that category, we would really encourage you and, and you feel called, you can go to this website and there's a place for you to fill out a form um, if you are in fact interested. Uh, and then of course, you know, as always, we are totally blessed to live in a country where our officials are elected and... Um, Contact your elected officials and make sure that, that we as a country are doing everything that we possibly can. We are going to be collecting resources uh, to support the churches uh, in 
those countries in Ukraine, but also surrounding countries because uh, many of them right now are hosting uh, refugees, and so the need is going to be great. This really is an opportunity for the church in those countries to shine, and so if God is stirring your heart, like it says on the screen there, uh, you can uh, donate by texting 702-710-4784, and you can just uh, type in relief, uh, or if you're going to give here in person and you're going to use the giving boxes on the envelope, you can just write relief on there, and um, those resources will go to helping refugees, it'll go to uh, helping us facilitate Hope Medical Missions trips, uh, and then of course it will go to support the local churches. And so I do just want to finally say that if you need prayer, I know um, I know for some people this is just um, scary, and it, uh, you know, the devil for sure loves to leverage these things to pr- provoke us to fear. Uh, And so you, of course, can talk to us after the service. We would love to pray with you and for you. Uh, And then also on that same webpage, there's a place at the bottom where you can either submit a prayer request um, or you can uh, fill out a form to connect with one of our pastors because we're here to to pray for you. So um, does that sound all right? The church doesn't just stand by and do nothing, right? Right? 